Hi everybody, welcome to Steam Storytime. Um, check out our new graphics. <laughs> We've been having some fun um, figuring out new ways of presenting material to you. Um, so bear with us in this time of a transition. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, nice and nice and shiny and new. Um, so we're gonna get started, get started in about one minute. Um, I'm just um, getting a few last things ready. Um, and we have the starting screen. Uh, just so that um, we can wait for everybody to get here and you don't have to see me fumbling around with everything. See, we're learning every single week. <laughs> so we'll wait one more minute and then I'll flip over to the camera. Um, we have some great stuff planned for today. Um, we have a really awesome book um, called Butterfly Park that we're going to read. Um, I'm going to show you some very important plants um, that we need to keep around in um, our gardens and our neighborhoods and our parks. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to make a very special steam craft today. Okay, so you know what? Let's get started. I see there's a few of us that are ready and watching. Um, hi, Nicholas, if you're watching. Nice to see you again. But let's start. We'll go on to the next screen. So hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hi again, Nicholas. Hopefully you're watching. Um, so again, my name is Kasha Dupuy. I'm from the Niagara on the Lake Public Library. Um, and welcome to week 10, if you can believe it or not, of our STEAM story time. We've done 10 weeks of these. Amazing. So thank you, everybody who's uh, tuned in. Just continue to tune in if you come for some of them, uh, if you come for all of them. We appreciate every single view that we get. So thank you very much. Um, so again, today, we are going to be um, looking at and talking about butterflies. So we have a story called Butterfly Park we're going to be reading. Um, I'm going to talk to you about some very important plants, as well as um, show you a really cool STEAM activity that we're going to be making. So let's get started. And if you see my hand over here, right there, it's just because I'm, I have a mouse now that I have to be able to click on stuff. So let's start with our book today. So this is Butterfly Park, and it is written and illustrated by Ellie McKay. Um, and it was published in 2015 um, by Running Kids Press. So thank you very much for letting us use this book today in our Steam story time. Um, before I get started with the book, I did forget a couple things. Um, new technology, so it's a little choppy or something goes wrong, I apologize. If we drop, I will be right back. Don't worry. Um, also, if you heard a couple seconds ago, my dogs have decided that right now is the perfect time to scratch the back on the floor. Uh, so you might be hearing them <laughs> throughout uh, the live stream today, as well my boys are inside. Um, they're pretty much occupied, but just in case we get some visitors, it'll just make today more interesting. But let's get started with the story. So again, this is Butterfly Park by Ellie McKay, um, and it's, she's the author and the illustrator, so she wrote and illustrated this book. Um, and also, it's written in 2015 um, by, published, sorry, in 2015 by Running Kids Press. So let's get started. I really like this book because all the pictures are actually done um, with paper cutouts and take the pho their photographs. So they're not um, drawn on a piece of paper. They're all paper cutouts. And then they took photographs of them. So let's get started with the first page. And I see that's a little glossy. So I'll try my best to not have a glare when I show you the pages. Once there was a girl who was moving into, to a new town. This made her sad. She was going to miss the birds that sang in the morning and the crickets that sang at night. But most of all, she was going to miss the butterflies. After a long, winding trip, 
she and her family arrived at their new home. Instead of birds and crickets, she heard horns and trains. She's going driving with her family along the path here, and then moving into the city, it looks like. They made, must have come from the country, and now they're moving to the city. And then there was her house, plain and gray, just like all the others. But it was next to a gate, unlike any other. I'll show you that gate up close. Isn't that cool? Can anyone see what it says on there? It says Butterfly Park. The girl repeated the letters. Butterfly Park. Suddenly, she felt very lucky. The next morning, the girl couldn't wait to meet the butterflies. She set off with a plate of cookies, for it was always smart to make a good first impression. But when she opened the gate to Butterfly Park, which is going into the gate there, she didn't see a butterfly anywhere. The girl waited and waited, had a cookie, and waited some more. Finally, she saw one, though it was in her neighbor's yard. The girl knocked on their door and asked a boy if he would help her catch the butterfly. He agreed and knew how to reach way up high. Together, they caught the butterfly and took it to the butterfly park. But up, up, and away it flew over the gate. They needed more help if they were going to bring butterflies to Butterfly Park. So they knocked and knocked on all the neighbors' doors. The children were happy to help. They swung their nets and caught a few. But when they took them to Butterfly Park, which thing's gonna happen? Up, up, and away the butterflies flew. So none of the butterflies are staying in Butterfly Park. Except for one. The children wondered what the butterfly wanted, when suddenly it flew away. The girls and boys dropped their nets and followed the butterfly. See them all running right there? They're all chasing after the butterfly. They're, they're investigating. They're going to check out where that butterfly is going and why. It took them up and down and through the town. Curiosity grew. Windows and doors began to open. Everyone's wondering what they're doing. Everyone was having such fun, others joined in too. Look at all those people following that butterfly. Everyone's curious, they want to know what happened. The butterfly led them along a winding path and up many twisting stairs until they reached the top. From there, they could see flowers. Flowers. Yes. Butterflies love flowers for their sweet nectar. At last, the girl knew what to do. Do you know what nectar is? It's the sweet kind of sugary stuff that uh, plants make. And that's what butterflies and bees collect. Butterflies eat it. Bees collect it and turn it into what? Does anybody know? Honey. Bright and early the next day, she set off for Butterfly Park again. This time with flowers. Got some flowers in her hand. Can you see it? Beautiful. The girl waited, listening to the sounds of the busy town. There were still no butterflies. Then, when she looked through the gate, something caught her eye. Hmm. It was her neighbors. They arrived with boots and gnomes and wagons. They brought travels and dirt and shovels. They showed her that plants need roots to grow. Together, everyone planted until the park was brimming with flowers and laughter. So they have lots of flowers in the garden now. What do you think they're going to get more of? Butterflies. This is my favorite page. Are you ready? It's going to be kind of tricky for me to show, but I'll do my best. And sure enough, in time, the butterflies came. The girl not only felt lucky... Let's see if I can show you this page too. 
Wow, look at you all the neighbors. Here, I'll just go up. I'll do a pan. So here's the neighbors all helping in the backyard or in the butterfly park. Can you see them all there? Right there. And then across here, there's more neighbors coming out to help. Just so, so. It's not a beautiful page. So I'll read that line one more time. And sure enough, in time, the butterflies came. The girl not only felt lucky. She also felt right at home. So she made a new friend. And she has butterflies now. Definitely lucky. Okay, beautiful book. I love that story. So this one again was called Butterfly Park, written and illustrated by Ellen McKay. And it was published in 20, uh, 2015 by Running Kids Press. So thank you for letting us use this beautiful book in our student story time today, since we're talking about butterflies. Um, so before I show you what today's activity is, um, I have a couple of things, a couple of images I want to show you because I can show you these images now. So it's very exciting. So we talked about butterflies and there's a very special kind of butterfly um, that is, uh, we see a lot of here and they're orange and black. Um, does anyone know the name of those butterflies? They're called monarch butterflies. So I have a picture of a monarch butterfly that I'm going to show you. So right here. So see that orange butterfly? on that, um, that pink purpley plant right there. That plant is called milkweed and monarch butterflies, which are actually endangered. So there's gonna be, there's actually less and less of them on earth every single year. They need that important plant to eat. That is the only plant that they eat. And I just learned this recently. Um, so we have to be careful and we have to make sure that we take very good care of all the milkweed plants that are around in our gardens, in our parks, and anywhere that um, we see them. Because those butterflies, that is their main source of food. So that is what they need to eat. Um, so there are many different kinds of milkweed. Um, but the one that's very popular, if you see right on that other side of the page that I just showed you, um, see that fuzzy stuff? Um, those are milkweed seeds. So if you see those somewhere, that means um, you can help them plant, get um, help those plants plant themselves by blowing those seeds um, and helping them reach the ground so they turn into milkweed plants so that monarch butterflies will have the food they need to eat. So I also learned um, that caterpillars, that is the only source of food um, that those caterpillars can eat. So before a butterfly turns into a butterfly, um, it starts as a caterpillar. And then before that, um, it is an egg. So actually, you know what? I have another pick picture that I can show you here. So this is the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. And this life cycle, this butterfly needs milkweed to get to be an adult. So if you look at number one, can everyone find the number one on the page there? Perfect. And right above number one, it says egg. So a monarch butterfly starts as a little tiny egg on a leaf, just like that. And then after it hatches, it turns into a caterpillar. Can you find the caterpillar right there? And the number underneath that is two. So the caterpillar is the second stage and caterpillars can only eat the leaves of milkweed plants. So they're very important. After the caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats, have you read the book before called The Very Hungry Caterpillar? Caterpillars eat all day, that's their main thing. When they've eaten enough, if you find the number three on the page there, it turns into a chrysalis. And then it stays in a chrysalis before it turns into an adult butterfly, which is number four. So milkweed is very important to all of those, uh, to monarch butterflies. So we need to make sure we have lots of it. Okay, so for today's activity, we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own butterfly, your very own flapping butterfly. So let me switch the camera over because I can do this again. Ha ha, look at that. Okay. So this is my little butterfly that I made, and I'm gonna show you how to make one. And the cool thing about this is that because we have these straws under here, watch, you can make it look like it's flapping its wings. Yeah, so we kind of engineered it just like that. Okay, so what you're going to need, and actually, I just realized I forgot to get one little thing, but if you're going to be making this craft, you're going to need some paper, and it doesn't matter what size. It can even be a scrap piece of paper, just like mine here. I'm going to reduce and reuse and recycle. You're going to need some scissors. 
So, um, you know, if you have scissors that are safe for you to use, go ahead and use them. If you're going to use sharp ones like me, maybe ask an adult or a parent to help you. You're going to need some tape. Um, and I have one here that I cut already, but if you want to make more than one, you can. And then you're going to need something to decorate your butterfly with. So I'll be back in like two seconds. I just have to go get the straws. They're sitting on the counter um, because I was very excited to get these new graphics going, but I forgot my pizza. So I'll be right back. Need some straws. I grabbed three just in case, um, but you only really need two. And it's actually better if you have a straw that's one that's bigger and one that's smaller. But if you don't like me, I'll show you how to make it work. So let's move this out of the way. So we have a nice open space here to work with, and I'm going to move these here. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut your butterfly wings. So you can either draw it on a piece of paper like this and then cut around it. But a nice way to make it symmetrical, which means it's the same on both sides. See how if I open it up, it's the exact same. Um, to make it symmetrical, if you want a symmetrical butterfly, is to make it by folding the paper. So I had a piece of paper like this. I folded it like that. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. And you can draw this too. I'm going to cut some wings here, like that. And then I'm going to make another big wing right up top like so. The only thing you want to make sure is that you don't cut all of the folded edge here. So you want to leave it with a little bit like that. I'm going to be scraps out of the way. So see how I've made one side of a butterfly wing? If I open it up, there we go. I've got a butterfly just like that. Okay? So the next thing you need to do is we need to make a little slice. So this is where um, you probably want to definitely have an adult help you with this, but I just do a little slice just like so, and it's just enough to make sure that you can fit the straw through, okay? So what you can do now after you make that slice is you can decorate it, and I'm just going to decorate it really quickly. Monarch butterflies are mainly um, only orange and black, but there are different kind of butterflies um, around. There's actually, I saw one on the weekend with my parents, um, there were um, some swallowtail butterflies. So those are yellow ones that are yellow um, and black. And I think a little bit of white too. And they're cool because they have these little tiny long tails at the end. So they're kind of pointy that come out the bottom, um, their bottom wings there. They're really pretty. Um, and I think, uh, I'm not sure if that's true, but we have, I think we have some of those blue butterflies in our here too. The ones that are black on the outside and then blue on the inside. Those are pretty neat though. So again, I'm doing this really quickly. If you're making this at home, please take more time. I just want to show you the steps on how to do this to make your fluffing butterfly. You can take as much time. You can add glitter to this. You can add, um, you know, stickers. You can do whatever you like. I'm just going to layer some of these colors here. So it's not quite like a monarch, but let's call it an abstract monarch butterfly. Just like so. Actually, I think that my black marker is running out too. So we have our butterfly um, all ready to go. So it's decorated. And you can decorate both sides. Um, and you have your little tiny slit right here that your straw is going to go through. And now we need to make the mechanism. So this part right here would actually make the butterfly flap its wings. Just like that. Okay? So you're going to take one straw. And you're going to cut. I'm going to cut this part off because it's kind of a bendy part here. And this is going to be the same part as the red one. So what you're going to do is put your scissors inside, and you can ask an adult to help you for sure, and cut pretty far down about the length of your scissors, just like so. And then those two pieces, you can open up just like that. Okay? So step one. And this will be the red part of our butterfly. And this is what's going to make the wings go up and down on the bottom. So the second part, what we need to do is I'm going to actually leave this part here because I can always get rid of it after if you have bendy straws. Um, you're going to cut just a little bit, much shorter. So just a tiny little bit like this. Okay? This part is going to go through that little cut there and get attached to the top of your butterfly here. But see, my straw, because it's the same size, it's not really going to fit very well. So this is kind of tricky. 
But what we're going to do is fold the straw. You know what? I'm sure you've heard of folding paper all the time. Who's heard of folding a straw before? So you can pretty much fold many things, right? You can try. Maybe you can make some art with straws as well if you want to practice folding them. So I'm folding it flat, and then I'm folding it in half, so it makes like a little V. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's like a little tiny, it's like a little marble run even. This side here is going to go through the bottom of your straw, like so. And sometimes it's a little silver and that's okay. And you're going to pull it all the way through, just like that. Okay, so this little part is on top. The wider part that you cut is below. And then you're going to fold this again and try to get it through the part of your butterfly here. Okay. So then you can just turn it a little bit. And these pieces you're going to tape down on the top of your butterfly here. So yes, I did blue. I probably could have done yellow and it would have blended in a little bit better. But you can also incorporate so work these, these little tabs here into your design, okay? I'm just going to put it like that and put two little pieces of tape. And I like using clear tape because then you can see your design through the clear tape. Also, I was going to try this with hot glue today, um, but I think um, we'll try it and see if it, if it works. I don't know. But I think you need a little bit more flexibility with the tape. It doesn't need to be as rigid. Because once you glue something, it's there for good, right? Whereas the tape, it kind of lets a little bit of um, flexibility, right? It keeps it a little softer. Okay, so we have these two parts taped down here. These two parts here, you're just going to turn your straw. And you know how sometimes when you're practicing things, it goes nice and easy, and when you have to do it for somebody, it doesn't always work as smoothly. That's kind of what's happening to me today, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're just going to go like this. And you're going to tape just a little bit of this part on the butterfly there. Okay? So watch this. Take another little piece of tape. Put a little bit like that. Okay, so there's one side. And then you do the same thing over here. And you can give it a little bend too. Just to help it along. Okay. So, to make it work, all you have to do is move your straw. Just like that. And if you have a non-bendy straw, it might be a little bit better. But what you're going to do is go like this, and it makes your butterfly flap its wings. Also, for parents and teachers who are watching, I'm sure you know this is a great fine motor activity um, to build hand strength as well. So lifting up and over and pushing and, and yeah, just fine motor skills like that. So that is how you make your very own little Laughing butterfly craft. Yeah. Okay. So, one more time, I'm just going to flip over to our other screen here just to show you one more time um, the milkweed, what you're looking for. And actually, milkweed comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, so, don't worry if you only see orange milkweed or if you see white milkweed. Um, uh, you know what? One thing I didn't talk about is that some people, call, like, it's called weed. Um, like a milkweed that, you know, people pull weeds out of their garden and stuff, but they're actually really important for um, for our gardens. So just because they're called the weed doesn't mean that they're bad. They're actually really good um, for the butterflies, the monarch butterflies that need them, and we need to keep it safe. Okay, so that was today's week 10 of STEAM Storytime. So we read a book. Um, we talked about butterflies and milkweed, and I showed you how to make your very own laughing butterfly craft. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you are all going to go outside and enjoy this warm weather. Um, it is very warm, so make sure you put on sunscreen and drink lots of water today. Um, if you have any feedback, questions, comments, anything like that, please send me an email. Um, my email is kdukui at nautilpl.org. I would love to hear from you. Um, and other than that, I think... That is the end of today's team story time. So hi everybody. If you're if you sent a shout out to me, I'm, I'm pretty sure Nicholas is watching and probably Jay. So hi you too. Um, and I will see you next week, next Wednesday at 11 o'clock for week 11 team story time. Okay. Have a great day everybody, and we will see you later. <laughs>
Bye, everybody.